As I entered my late thirties, a profound realization began to take hold, my most valuable possession was not material wealth or career success, but rather my system of moral values. The principles and beliefs that guided my actions and decisions became the cornerstone of my identity, shaping the way I interacted with the world around me. With each passing year, I grew more convinced that integrity, compassion, and honesty were the true markers of character. In a society that often prioritizes status and possessions, I found solace in knowing that my moral compass served as a guiding light through life's complexities. It was through practicing empathy, standing up for justice, and treating others with respect that I discovered the true measure of wealth. As I navigated the challenges and opportunities of adulthood, I held on to my values as steadfast anchors in an ever-changing world. If I were to be crowned the supreme ruler of this world, endowed with absolute power, immense wealth, and complete control, but my ethical values were twisted and corrupt, then the fate of this planet would be sealed. With unbounded authority in a disregard for moral principles, pandemonium and anarchy would reign supreme. The populace would be subjected to the oppressive weight of my despotic reign, and the earth itself would be mercilessly exploited for my personal gain. Corruption and greed would proliferate unchecked, resulting in the inevitable downfall of both society and the environment. Lacking a moral compass to steer me away from destruction, I would lead this world down a path of ruin, leaving behind a trail of devastation and despair. The individual made known their intention to release chaos and misery onto the world, driven by a malevolent desire for annihilation. Their deeds were propelled by an unyielding craving to spread discord and anguish wherever they roamed, leaving a path of ruin in their wake. The repercussions of their sinister aspirations extended far and wide, instilling fear and hopelessness in all who crossed their destructive path. The world quaked at the idea of the impending chaos and suffering, as the individual's twisted longings threatened to throw everything into disarray. It was a daunting prospect, as the forces of darkness readied themselves to unleash havoc upon an unsuspecting world. Life would be devoid of any worth if it consisted only of ceaseless turmoil and agony. In the absence of pleasure, tranquility, and fleeting instances of contentment, what motivation would there be to persevere? It is the delicate equilibrium of highs and lows, the stark juxtaposition of positive and negative encounters, that imbues life with significance. Were it not for intervals of calmness and affection, the struggles would be insufferable. It is through discovering beauty amidst disorder that true appreciation for the preciousness of life can be cultivated. It's a dark thought, wanting to make everyone miserable. To purposely bring harm and sorrow to those around you. It's a selfish desire, driven by bitterness and resentment. But what satisfaction is there in causing pain? What joy can be found in making others suffer? It's a lonely existence, to thrive on the misery of others to feed off the sadness and despair that you create. In the end, everyone loses. No one truly benefits from such malicious intent. It's a vicious cycle that only perpetuates more hurt and anger. So why would anyone choose to pursue such a destructive path? What emptiness must fill their heart, what darkness must cloud their mind? Perhaps it's a cry for help, a plea for attention. Or maybe it's simply a lack of empathy, a deficiency of compassion. I cannot fathom a deeper sorrow than the thought of decimating all that is good in this world. To destroy the beauty of nature, the warmth of love, the joy of laughter, it feels incomprehensible. Yet, in my darkness, this is the path I have chosen. To extinguish every glimmer of light, to eradicate every shred of hope. The very essence of life stripped away, leaving nothing but a desolate void. A world void of compassion, kindness, and beauty, a world where despair reigns supreme. In this bleak landscape, there would be no reason to strive, no purpose to pursue, no joy to cherish. It is a chilling prospect, but one that my twisted mind sees as the ultimate goal. To leave a wasteland where emptiness prevails, and the shadows consume all. This is my vision, my twisted desire, to erase all that is good until there is nothing left for anyone to live for. Without a doubt, I do not hold the title of ruler in this land, 
and the concept of becoming the monarch is beyond my comprehension. I am simply a regular individual, much like the vast majority of the population. My power and influence are minimal, and I take comfort in that fact. My aim is not to dominate or control others, but rather to peacefully coexist with those around me. We all stand on equal ground in this vast world, each playing our unique roles in the intricate tapestry of the universe. In life, I recognize that my sphere of influence may be confined to the minutiae of daily existence, yet the crux of my being lies in the ethos of upholding a steadfast framework of moral principles. Irrespective of the affluence or scarcity that may define my material possessions, their true value resides in the manner in which I adhere to my ethical code. Ultimately, possessions bear little weight if they lack the guidance of a moral compass steering me towards righteousness and compassion. Thus, it is not the volume of belongings that carry significance, but the integrity with which I traverse the world and engage with those in my midst. If my moral values were to become corrupted, I would not hesitate to allow that corruption to seep into every aspect of my life. I would tarnish all that I have worked tirelessly to achieve and jeopardize the relationships with those I hold close to my heart. My actions would be fueled by a deep-rooted desire to witness others succumb to the same moral decay that has engulfed me. I would strive to infect every shred of goodness and purity, twisting it into a mere shadow of its former self. There would be no boundaries to the lengths I would go to in order to propagate this corruption, no moral compass to lead me back to the righteous path. My sole objective would be to pull everyone down alongside me, reveling in the chaos and devastation I have unleashed upon the world. The foundation of my ability to positively contribute to society lies in the unwavering integrity of my moral values. If these values were to be compromised, my capacity to serve others would be severely hindered. Rather than being a source of support and assistance, I would instead become a barrier, causing strife and perpetuating harm. My actions would impede progress and development, halting any potential for a brighter future. It is of utmost importance to uphold steadfast moral principles in order to fulfill my duties as a responsible member of society. When money is utilized to facilitate the senseless murder of innocent individuals, it not only sullies the very essence of that currency but also transforms it from a symbol of prosperity and achievement into a weapon of destruction and malevolence. The value of such tainted money diminishes significantly as it becomes marred by despicable deeds. This serves as a potent reminder of the ease with which wealth and power can be manipulated and corrupted, leading those in possession of it astray. Ultimately, the true measure of wealth lies in its application, for either benevolence or malevolence. An affluent individual who opts to use their wealth to perpetrate unspeakable acts can never truly be deemed rich in the most crucial currencies of all, integrity and humanity. The value of my possessions, whether it be money, intelligence, or any other asset, is intricately linked to the moral values that dictate how I choose to utilize them. When I opt to use my resources to protect and uplift virtuous individuals, they acquire an inherent goodness. Similarly, if I employ my intellect to make constructive contributions to society, it gains significance and worth. Ultimately, the true value of all that I possess lies in the manner in which I employ them for the betterment of others, thereby creating a positive impact on the world around me. It is through acts of kindness and generosity that my possessions truly hold value, as they are utilized not for self-gain, but for the greater good of humanity. By recognizing the moral responsibility that comes with ownership, I am able to transform my assets into tools for positive change and leave a lasting impact on the world. My moral values serve as the guiding principles that inform and shape every decision and action I take. They hold a significance higher than any other aspect of my life, surpassing even my own existence and possessions. I firmly believe that adhering to my moral code is imperative for leading a purposeful and gratifying life. In times of adversity or when faced with the prospect of sacrificing, I will unwaveringly opt to uphold my values. The integrity and caliber of my character carry more weight for me than any amount of material riches or personal benefit.
discovering courage and direction in aligning my actions with my moral compass, I draw strength from the knowledge that I am remaining steadfast to what I consider to be just and righteous. In the hypothetical scenario where I committed mass murder by slaughtering a million innocent souls, it would be undeniably rational to terminate my life or banish me to a place where I could no longer inflict harm on another million individuals. The extermination of such malevolence is essential to safeguard the sanctity and existence of virtuous beings. Allowing me to roam without restraint would only invite further calamity and ruin, a consequence that is simply intolerable. Justice necessitates prompt and resolute measures to guarantee the security and welfare of all. It is not unreasonable to assume that if I am capable of assisting a million good individuals in thriving and prospering, I should be granted additional time to continue making a positive impact on the world. By extending my lifespan, I would have the chance to help even more people in realizing their full potential and fulfilling their aspirations. It is crucial to recognize the ripple effect that a person's actions can have on numerous others. Thus, by prolonging my life, I could spread kindness, support, and guidance to a larger number of deserving individuals, ultimately fostering a more compassionate and successful society for all to benefit from. I measure a man's worth not by how much material wealth he possesses but by how much integrity he has or how morally upright his actions and his words are. I measure a man's worth not by how much intelligence he has but by what he does with his intelligence. Does he use his intelligence to serve good intentions or does he use his intelligence to serve destructive and selfish desires? Does he use his words to honor a man to whom honor is due or does he tell lies to slander an honorable man? Does he help those who are weak, unfortunate and oppressed or does he join bullies and thieves in making more unfortunate souls and in oppressing those who are weak? Does he give credit to the man who owns the credit or is he a credit thief? The moral principles that govern my actions serve as the guiding force in my life, shaping both my present reality and future aspirations. These values are the very essence of who I am, anchoring me in a steadfast commitment to integrity, honesty, and compassion. Each decision I make is a reflection of these core beliefs, contributing to the development of my character and defining my self-worth. By steadfastly adhering to my moral compass, I strive to create a life that is meaningful and fulfilling. My values serve as a beacon of light, providing me with direction and purpose as I navigate through life's challenges and opportunities. Through the strength and resilience that my values afford me, I am empowered to face adversity with courage and determination. With every moral choice I make, I am propelled closer towards a future aligned with my deepest convictions. Ultimately, my values not only shape the person I am today but also serve as a roadmap to the life I aspire to lead.